getting rid of tattoos is a pretty common job and it can be a headache sometimes, particularly if it's a really big or ugly tattoo that's all over the place. The best tool that I can recommend for getting rid of your tattoo is to use the patch tool. Now there's a few reasons for this. The patch tool is often looked upon as being the industrial strength version of the healing brush, but in fact it can be much more accurate than the healing brush if you know a couple of little hidden features. Now I'm going to do this three different ways. First I'll switch over to my patch tool, you'll find that in the healing brush group, and turn on the patch tool. It has some settings for it in the upper settings bar for patch source or patch destination or patch transparent or use pattern. We're going to stick to source and destination for this one. Now source and destination simply mean the behavior of the tool when you take a sample to clean up the area that's got the blemish or the tattoo. We'll start with destination. This simply means I need to take a sample of clean skin which will then be dragged to a destination where the tattoo is and then be used to overlay and clean it up. So I will take a largish patch that will cover the entire tattoo area like so and then I drag it down over the tattoo release the mouse and it blends into the underlying colour and luminosity values just like the healing brush. Okay, first thing that's worth knowing about this that isn't obvious. For PC users, if you use Control H, and for Mac users, that's Command H, you can hide the edging. Sure, you probably know about Command H, but you may not have thought of it in relation to the patch tool. Reason for doing this, it gives you a better chance to evaluate the quality of the patch that you've just laid down. It also allows you to then go to the Edit menu and use the Fade Patch Selection function where you can dial down the amount of patching that's been used so you can dial in exactly how much of the opacity strength that you actually need. Remember in some other exercises, particularly with Healing Brush, you may not need 100% opacity. Now in this case, because it's a very, very dark tattoo, I reckon it's going to need pretty much 100% to get it right. So I think 100% is probably the right setting for it. So I'll just cancel out of that. Now that's not a bad result. The only thing that you have to watch out for is edging. When you have taken such a large patch and dropped it down, you may be able to make out the edges of the original patch, which isn't terribly attractive, but we'll let that go for the time being. I do have a solution. We'll go to File Revert and we'll put this back to its original state with the tattoo. Okay, method number two is to use source. Now with source it means that we're going to select the area that's got the problem and then drag the problem area to an area that's got clean skin which will then be used to replace it. Now this has a few advantages particularly when it's a large area to be fixed up because you can now make a loose but reasonably accurate selection around the area with the problem or the blemish like so and now we just drag it up and drop and we get the cleanup. Again, Control H or Command H for Mac, and we can evaluate how well it's done the job. Now this has a few obvious advantages. One being that now the edge is not a regular four-sided shape or a circle. It's something a little bit more detailed and it tends to blend in a lot better. So that looks pretty clean. Okay, we'll revert it once again. So I'll just deselect and we'll revert and we'll now go to the last thing, which really is a hidden function. When we use the patch tool to make a selection, you are doing just that. This is no different to the lasso tool. In fact, it is the lasso tool when you first use this. Now, with that in mind, you can use an existing selection and load it into the area that you need to use to make your patch. Now, the advantage of this is if you've get one of those really huge, insanely complicated tattoos and you don't have a lot of free skin to play with to repair it, an accurate selection might give you just that little bit of extra wiggle room that you have to have to be able to make the repair. So I'll go to my channels palette and I just happen to have a selection of the tattoo area. So I'll just load that up 
and I've got a very accurate selection around the tattoo. In fact, it's too accurate. I'll just zoom in so you can see what I mean. It's so tight that if I was to then use the patch tool, as soon as I activate patch, see, it works. I could use this. <laughs> but it's not going to repair it enough because it's just a bit too tight. So what we need to do is just to expand that selection just a little bit. So I'll go to the Select menu and we'll modify the selection with Expand. Now I'm just going to expand it by a few pixels in this case. It's only going to need three or four pixels, so I'll say three pixels. Yep, and that gives me that little bit of wiggle room around the edge. It's still very close and very tight, but that will should do nicely. So I'll just drag this up. We're still using Source, of course. And I drop. I'll hide. Now that looks pretty darn good. I'll just zoom out so we can really give that an evaluation. I reckon that's as close to perfect as you could ever get for a tattoo removal. That looks really good. Again, you could go to your edit menu to fade patch selection, but I think you'll find that when tattoos are that dark, you'll need 100% value to clean it off. Lighter or older tattoos may not need so much. But even so, that's a pretty good cleaned up tattoo.